Hello, thank you for joining me. Um, I am going to do a reading, but first I just wanted to do the competition winner. So um, I put out the um, opportunity to win a 15 minute oracle card reading with me. Um, so the people that, whose names I've got that made comments on my page, um, my YouTube video page and also my Facebook page, because I know a couple of you did there as well. So I've included you. So that's Sarah Elizabeth, Kerry McMyler, Michelle, Katie Quinn, Jeannie Nash, Gay Freer, Anne Moss, Nicholas Cage, Roma Doyle, Debbie Dunn and Pauline Burton. Burton, sorry. So I'm going to put your names in a little hat and pick out the winner in just a second. So just bear with me while I cut all those up. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Right, I've put them all in there. I don't know if you can see that. So I've cut up all the names and put them in there. My little tarot bag. I'm sure there's a technical way you could do that, a very high tech way, but I'm a bit old school. So, <laughs> okay, who we got? Katie Quinn. Oh, isn't that funny? So we were talking about synchronicity, weren't we? That you were my 222nd <laughs> subscriber. Um, so there you go, that you get the reading. And sorry to all you guys um, that you didn't get one. But don't forget, I can give readings if you would like one. Please do get in touch with me. Um, and yeah, we can organise a personal reading. So Katie, um, I'll get in touch with you somehow <laughs> um, and we can arrange that for you. Um, all right, I'm going to give my reading now. So I think I'm going to use these cards because they normally go in this bag. <laughs> so they were out, obviously. Um, thank you so much to all, the, all of you, though. I wanted to just say thank you because um, it's lovely that you all subscribe and um, join me every day for the readings um, and it's really weird actually because the full moon in Scorpio is around us at the moment the energy and I started this when the new moon was in Scorpio so in Scorpio um, Scorpio season and I just feel like looking back so much has happened in this last few months I'm sure you feel that too but feel like the people that have been with me watching these have kind of been on the journey with me and I really do appreciate every one of you that comments and every one of you that comes back and says hello it's really really lovely um it's what life's about isn't it just helping each other through maybe that's why I do these anyway so um I'm really glad you enjoy them and I shall continue <laughs> every day so um dip in and out whenever you feel like you need a little bit of uh, guidance Right, what have we got? The Ace of Swords. That's interesting. Let's see what other card we've got to. Oh, that one. Oh, the High Priestess. Well, I wouldn't expect anything different because the moon is strong and obviously our High Priestess does like to remind us that she is there being ruled by that moon. But let's talk about the Ace of Swords first. Because <clears throat> as soon as I got this card... I got the idea that this is a brand new way of thinking now. I loved, I don't know if you saw the energy cards, um, sorry, the spirit animal cards that I did yesterday on Friday. They were a lion and a tiger. It was such a strong energy, such a strong, strong energy. Like everybody has now transformed. Everybody is where they need to be. And I really do feel like this Ace of Swords is our, our um, new way of thinking. The new us. The transformation is complete. Um, and this is the start of it. So where do we go from here? Um, I love the crow that's actually part of the sword. But I also am really drawn to these butterflies. Do you remember a little while ago? I don't know if obviously if you see these every day, you may remember. But we had the death card. Why was in the middle of the eclipse portal? And I said, we're in that bit where we're not quite sure, we're not quite transformed yet, we've not quite gotten from one to the other. Well, we have now, and look at all this lovely, beautiful butterflies. And I kind of feel like there's a butterfly there for every single one of us, because this is on a collective level. I really feel that on a personal level, people are changing, but on a collective level, people are changing as well. We've had elections, local elections in the UK, it's been a real shift in thinking, shall we say. I, I'm not, I don't want to go into politics um, because that's where lots of arguments start. But the world is shifting. People are thinking differently and, and working together to try and make the world a bit of a better place, I think. Um, but that starts at home, doesn't it? That starts with us. And if we're in a good place, if we're working towards our higher self and looking after ourselves, 
that radiates to the people around us and so on and so forth. So, you know, all of this change that you've been doing in a, in a work, um, I feel like it's now ready to go out there in the world and make a real difference. But at all times, and I'm not going to say too much about the High Priestess at this, at this time, because look, look what she's surrounded by. She's surrounded by butterflies. I feel that's the connection with these two cards. It's not so much the Ace of Swords and the High Priestess. It's the butterflies and the transformation. And I feel, I'm getting like goosebumps when I'm saying this, but I feel like I want to say the transformation is complete. When you are completely and utterly in your power, trusting your instincts, then I would fully expect these two cards to show up. So whatever's put a line now, draw a line behind what's happened. Let's look about what's going forward with that new thinking and this wonderful high priestess, which is signifying you. This is not the high priestess coming in going, oh, look how wonderful I am. You could be like this. This is now saying, this is you. This is in you now. Your insightful soul is awakened and quietly whispering to you the right way to go. So that is really, really excited, exciting. I'm genuinely excited by these two cards. Just like yesterday, I felt the power of our tiger and lion that came out in our spirit animal region. So if you didn't see that, do go back and have a look. Um, so yeah, I hope that um, I hope that resonates with you today. I hope maybe this full moon that we had, you know, obviously it was peaking yesterday. So I really, really hope that you've felt that within you. And I'd love to know. So please do leave me a comment if you'd like to... Um, tell me more um thank you again for those of you that commented and shared and, and everything um it is just lovely to connect with all of you so thank you very much and um i'll be here every day so um i hope to see you here too all right be back again tomorrow bye for now